Okay. So the poor mania booking for Daniel Bryan, or at least the the lack thereof. We already have lackluster build as it is, and they're supporting a big year. Like mania is supposed to be the end game of majorial multi month or multi year storytelling, and they have or have a a month to go, and there's only a number of matches that they can call over in two months for. Under at least half of the show. And Daniel Bryan is one of them. Like, they're trying to push over the whole the whole cool factor of Edge and Reigns. Daniel Bryan shouldn't even over uh, just be the obstacle just to build over the opponents. And all Daniel Bryan is is an overshaft, overachieving, upper mid-card, overly shoved around the product, all because he's likable. He's nothing much. Over the last couple months, all he is is stumbling over his wording, complaining that he wrestles more, so that means he deserves more. That's the umph degree of a... He's just a practical whiner. He has no character like he did back in 2018 to 2019. He has gained no, like... like he, he already comes around losing, so he already has a majorial disadvantage. There's no hype factor into... Anything that they're building upon Daniel Bryan still being possibly a, man of, a mania threat. And I guess this has something to do with the momentum that he has. I understand that he's possibly going to retire later in the year. I don't really care. I just don't think it's a smart idea to even book around Daniel Bryan possibly being in a three-way for mania against two guys that should be the selling point of mania. There's already a lackluster year. For WrestleMania. For a two-day event. It is the dumbest thing I've possibly seen in my life. I I, I don't know. Uh, Dan Daniel Bryan, I have nothing wrong with the guy. The guy seems like a nice guy to be around in person. But the guy, like, no central character. He has no entertainment factor. He just winds around look, acting like a fucking stepdad. And he's already over losing battles, only beating mid Carter Jey Uso. It's bland. And he's just shoved around the card for a conversation. Oh, I should have a match because I wrestle more. I get my title shot when I face Jey Uso. The only drawing factor next week on SmackDown is just Edge. Because Edge is important. Reigns is important. That's going to build over in the show. That's going to build over your top new guy over, Re over Reigns. Facing off against redeeming Hall of Famer Edge. Daniel Bryan isn't in that conversation. I don't want to see any of that stuff come after Fastlane. They should just have the next couple week, final weeks till Mania over Fastlane. Build over just Reigns and Edge. That's going to be practically it. I don't care. I don't care about Daniel Bryan being part of the main event. That's not going to build over revenue. Daniel Bryan's already not as big enough as a star as it is. He already, and he spent multiple years over just being an underachieving upper mid-card that's been overrated as hell. And they've been doing nothing over to build this guy up as legitimate still. He's just a whiner. I don't care. It's just getting really ad boring. SmackDown gets worse every time Daniel Bryan's on screen. He, he always jumbles up his wording, his promos don't sound that organic, and it just feels like he's just there to be there. And now he's just forced around the main event scene for no apparent reason other than they just need a guy overly current in the roster to face Reigns, or just be the foil over to Reigns when we're building over to the pay-per-view. I don't mind Daniel Bryan being an obstacle, but it just feels like they're trying to force over him in Mania for the most blandest reasons that feel so force-fed. But uh, that's my opinion on the matter. I don't. Uh, he just jumbles up his freaking wording. His matches don't feel that like he's fighting for the world title, and he already lost already a title match that he had to earn. It it just doesn't feel that justified, and Daniel Bryan isn't uh, helping his case. But that's my opinion. I think that they're not. Uh, that they shouldn't have Daniel over the main event of Mania. That's my opinion. You think differently, comment down in the comments section below. Make this a bit short because that's my only opinion for today.